Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So the Halloween event part two is officially over. We managed to get loads of shinies, 16 shinies in the Halloween event part two. So I'll quickly go through these. Some of them have been featured on the previous videos, but we managed to get at Zorua on day one. Not long into the event actually, about 20 checks on Zorua and we managed to get a shiny. So that was really super lucky. We then got a Pikachu, girl Pikachu with a Halloween costume, a Vulpix, with a Halloween costume, a Murkrow, another Pikachu with a Halloween costume. All of those were on the first day of the event, so that was super, super lucky to be landing so many shinies on the first day of the event. Second day of the event saw Punkaboo with a costume, an extra small one, which unfortunately is the same size Punkaboo shiny that I got last year. So we have ended up with the same one, but beggars can't be choosers, so really happy with that. Vulpix. Didn't manage to get one of these last year or the year before when it got released with a Halloween costume. So super happy about getting the family completed this year. So we managed to get two of those Vulpixes. Gengar, super, super happy with this. Friday afternoon, late raid, got invited to by a good friend of mine. And it shined. It was 98 off a raid. It was super, super happy. So definitely the one I was wanting during this event. Lugia, shiny shadow Lugia was about during the raid weekend, this weekend, just gone, and the first raid on the Saturday managed to drop on a shiny shadow Lugia, so as I was saying, my luck has just literally been insane, I don't know what's been happening. Shiny Phantom, off a task, so only a two star, but still, it was a shiny Phantom complete, we managed to get one during the spotlight hour the week previous, so that was a good shiny to get. Dark Cry, so Dark Cry Raid did one on Sunday and it shined. So not a brilliant Dark Cry. Unfortunately, you can't lucky trade it or trade it with a friend to see if it goes any better. So it is just going to be one of those that sits in my storage, unfortunately. Not good enough to power up, but shiny Dark Cry up nonetheless. We then got another shiny Zorua. Super, super happy about this. Family complete during the event. I know this is going to be really, really hard to get all of out of the events where it's not featured. So really happy to land on that. Stats were not very good at all. 0, zero 2 on the stats. So not very good stats at all. But hoping for a lucky trade with a lucky friend in the future to hopefully get one good enough to evolve. We then got the Galarian Yamask. So the Galarian Yamask was off a task actually no sorry i hatched this out of an egg in fact so 7k egg hatched out of a 7k egg and it was only a two star but we did manage to get a three star only just a three star last year when it first got released from a ta research task so i will be evolving that one instead so family complete for galarian yamask we then got another Vulpix, so I've got a spare now, so another shiny Halloween Vulpix, so that's definitely going in the spare for a good, decent trade. We then got a Yamask, unfortunately not, we didn't get a Yamask during the spotlight hour, um, we managed to get one just before the spotlight hour, it was around about 4 o'clock, so just before the spotlight hour, a couple of hours before, we managed to land on a shiny Yamask, only a zero star, but family complete again for that managed to get another one off a trade a couple of months ago so we have completed the family now so really nice to get that family done and it is a super cool shiny especially when it evolves into coffer coffer and then during spotlight hour we didn't quite get the yamask that was featured but we did manage to get a shiny pineco so bit of a weird one but during the spotlight hour i managed to get a shiny pineco instead of a yamask but Happy with that. We have had it a few times before in the past, but it is a really cool shiny to get, and especially when it wasn't really featured in the event. So, shiny Pineco, nonetheless. So, yeah, 16 shinies in total during the event. Hundos, we managed to get quite a few as well. So, Hundos, we did get nine Hundos, including a Yamask, which was off a task. Then we got Gengar. Then we got Yamas. Sorry, this one was off a task. The previous one was in the wild. We got Gengar in the wild, which I've maxed out to level 50. Super, super cool. Super happy to get one of those. Yamask was off a task. Then we managed to get Zorua in the wild, which was just insane to get another one. I already had one in the past be before, so to get 
the family of Hundo Zorro was just, just was just insane. We then got another Zorroer, which I don't know how, but we're managing to do it. So <laughs> it was super, super happy about that. So probably going to max those three Zorroers out if I can get enough XL candy in the future. Working on one at the moment, so hopefully we can max one out and then we can work on the other two afterwards. But it is quite a good dart type, so it's worth maxing out a couple. Then we've got Piplup with the Halloween costume. So super happy to get one of those hundo with a Halloween costume, knowing how rare it's going to be after the event. Then we ended up with a hundo Murkrow. Not amazing, but as a flying and a dart type, it is quite good in both of those aspects. So it is quite a good backup to have if you wanted to max one of those out. So hundo Murkrow. Then a hundo Pikachu with a Halloween costume. Super happy about that. The same as the Piplup managed to get one with a halloween costume so i know it's going to be really super super rare afterwards so it's definitely good to get that one and then a random licky tong so another random one a bit like my pineco where i got shiny licky tong in the wild randomly was a hundo so yeah okay with that i don't think i've got one of those before so yeah quite happy with that unfortunately it wasn't an event spawn but still quite happy with that hundo so yeah super super happy with my event let me know in the comments what you managed to get during the Halloween part two. And good luck with a new event that's just started, the Day of the Dead event, which goes from today and tomorrow, the 1st and 2nd of November. Good luck for that. Let me know in the comments below if you managed to get anything. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.